Okay people, so I'm going to test uh, the range of the RK system. So here I have a uh, OEM, uh, OEM European spec RK, RKE uh, receiver in the car. So this is not the original shell. As you can see there is a panic button and the um, European version doesn't have that. So I can press on the panic button, nothing will happen. So I am at, I don't know, two or three meters. If I try to lock the car, yes, okay, it horns. Let's back up. And here, I've lost it. I can walk around. Yeah. Kind of. Okay, so if you hold the key like this it looks like you have a better range let me come back over here okay that's interesting ah, here I've lost it so I'm gonna mark on the floor where I am well, it was a heck of a fight. Uh, so I replaced the factory B um, RK, uh, RKE module on the BCM with my modified one. So as you can see, the antenna has been replaced by a uh, SMA connector. It barely fits. I haven't fitted the screws, so the BCM is still floating, as you can see. So I'm gonna just push it all the way back for the test okay and here we have the antenna so as you can see it is nothing compared to the piece of wire that uh, that the car has from factory so I'm gonna leave this here I have programmed this key with the modified RKE module so this is the original one from the car. It is, I think it's the same. I didn't check. Uh, I didn't check the part numbers, but I think they are the same. So okay, let's see if we have something here like that. Okay, we do. I'm gonna close the door. Okay. I think I left my mark yeah, here. So this morning I couldn't lock the car from this distance. I can, so I have a better range. Let's see. Yeah. Actually, it works. So I'm pretty sure I could fit the the antenna in the um, outside of the car, in the maybe in the trunk, in in the behind the bumper, behind the front bumper. I'm not going to do that now because I basically want to convert this car to a US uh, uh, to a US RKE system. So. Of course. Now let's see. Let's double the distance approximately. Okay. <laughs> and it works beautifully. Let's triple the distance. I think we're good. Ah, no, we lost it. I think it depends where you are and how you hold the key. So yes, it does work. I mean, it's a lot of work for maybe twice twice the range. Fitting the this antenna will be kind of tricky in the car. So, I mean, outside of the car because you have to to make room for the for the wire and um, 
I, I don't know if I'm going to do that uh, anytime soon. And let's see what if I put it. I don't know. Let's say here, so close to the to the cluster where I guess where I guess I could fit it. That's still way better than what it used to be, but yeah, it's way better than what it used to be, but I mean, I was able to get a better antenna, a better signal with a, uh, on, on my bench with a cheaper antenna, so I'm not even sure this is the best way to go. Uh, I guess you can you could maybe build something different. And this one was actually not that cheap. I think it was something around 40 bucks. So I mean it it's not worth it. I mean th this antenna right here is not worth it, I think. But it was a proof of concept and it kind of work, I'd say. So if you want to compare, I'm, hang on just a sec. Okay, so this is a trace um, from the OEM antenna in the car. So as you can see, we are far, far away. I mean, we, we should have that uh, number one marker right here, but we don't. And at 400, 33 megahertz we have a minus 11 dB signal so let's compare that to the to that domed shape uh, thing that that I got okay here we have minus minus 17 dB so th this is way better but far from perfect I mean we should have something way better we, we could have something better like going down to the to the minus 20 something that would be awesome okay so we now have the US R key inside it works yes I already uh, programmed the R key system with the R key let's move to the place where I was first where I couldn't uh, get the remote to, to work at that range, I mean the Euro, uh, the European version, and it works, <laughs> and it works. We even have a better range, let's start with that, <laughs> and it works. I mean, it is crazy. Really? I hate... I mean, why did Chrysler did such a crappy job on the European uh, antenna? It's, it is working great on, an, on a frequency it shouldn't be working on. <sighs> yeah, I, I want to give up. I mean, why do you want? Why do you even want to work on a better system? I mean, like I did with a better tuned antenna for the European version. When you can get something like that, I mean, an American R key system with, with an American uh, key fob, and everything is working as it should be working. I mean, the car is unlocking and panic is working. I'm going to give up on, on the European one. I mean, this is working freaking great. So, so again, for a European uh, for a European people here, the panic button. What it does is locking the car. Until you press again on the panic button. That's it. And <laughs> I mean, okay, let's see how far can I go. This is insane. <laughs> I'm kind of twice. It's kind of twice the distance I was when I was when I was training with the uh, 
European dome shape antenna. This is ridiculous. Really? This is. I mean, okay, don't get me wrong, this is great because now I have a great <laughs> RQE system. Well, okay, that's. Uh, let's call it a day, I guess, and uh, wrap everything back together. And uh, if you ever want to switch, I mean, a European version to a US one, feel free to contact me and I can help programming the key without having the GRB around. See you soon.